What's going on, everybody? See here. Welcome back to some more pressure. Power wash sim. Power wash sim. We're back. We're doing some more things now. Last episode, we got our amazing heavy pressure washer. So we are going to utilize that to finish up this house. Hopefully, get some other stuff unlocked. But we can now start focusing on some upgrades. So let's go ahead. Let's buy some stuff. Let's buy some things. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. If you do, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Now, equipment, cleaning liquids. Not worry about that. Okay. So what do we have here prime vista 1500 turbo nozzle spinning zero degree nozzle that increases the area of effect while maintaining uh maximum pressure 15 dollars. well here's the urban x2u2 turbo here's the prime vista 3000 is there i feel like the prime vista 3000 oh and then look at our amazing soapers too the urban x2u2 soap nozzle or the prime vista 3000 soap nozzle we're gonna go with the Prime Vista 3000 Turbo Nozzle. Let's try that bad boy out. And then let's, um, oh man, the, the long range, that would be super nice. And then the soap, like this actually, you know, it's actually kind of funny. Like this one looks nicer, but this one looks like, like the actual foamer that a lot of people use. So, okay. All right, let's try out our new uh, super amazing turbo nozzle here. Interesting. I mean, I mean, it's all right. I don't know that I like the spinny bit. You know what I mean? Like I almost just prefer a nice flat fan to do the maximum. Like, look at that. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, see how much nicer, I don't know. I don't know. I think I think we need to non-complicate it. I think maybe we just need to uh, stick with what we got here. Now, the extension, on the other hand, that might be nice because that might use make this nozzle have more power at a longer range, you know? So that might actually be pretty handy. Hold on. What do we have for that? Let's look at those options here real quick. Um, okay. Equipment. So we've got the long and the short. So do we buy the short extension? It improves the range while still being able to use, to be used quite close to surfaces. It improves the range of the washer, but cannot be used when close to a surface. Let's just save up and let's get this $400 one. Let's try to max this bad boy out. Get the maximum equipment that we are allowed. All right, so the bottom area of the house is looking pretty good. I think we're I think we're pretty solid here. Uh, we're at 317. We're gonna wait till we hit 400 so we get that that extension pole deal. Uh, let's go ahead and start working on all of this stuff, I suppose. Oh, goodness. Don't mean to be a Debbie Downer, but I've looked in the creepy symbols uh, you found on the side of the house you're working on. Turns out they're just builder's diagrams telling the plumber where to put the gap for the overfill pipe. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. So actually, speaking of, people were commenting. They're like, oh, that's um, that was Bobby's house. Well, um, this isn't Bobby's house. Bobby's house looked a little bit different than this. Uh, Bobby didn't have a a garage is like a double house and like two peaks and like it was blue and on this uh, yeah so not quite but yeah still cool nonetheless oh my gosh it, it was pretty funny so we are at 374 we're getting close and then we're gonna buy our uh i guess our extension which might make it easier for us to clean stuff from further away give us a little bit more a range i'd like to get the i'd honestly i'd really like to get the um 
the 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 soper too but that thing's 600 which is crazy so like example um a lot of the, the like a foamer like a foamer that a lot of people use for like you know cleaning cars and stuff um it it's like 60 bucks on amazon <laughs> uh and it, it, that's what a lot of people use and it's like a really good foamer and it's it's just crazy it's like how is a 600 like i honestly don't even think i could find a 600 dollars foamer unless it was a separate machine but like anything like this you're not gonna find one that's 600 dollars. no way no way just like your bottle of soap your bottle of soap that you're paying 15 dollars for the last 15 seconds i just bought like a gallon jug for nine dollars it says it creates 26 gallons worth and you don't even put it on straight like it just mixes it with water you know how much you could clean with that <laughs> a lot a lot it's kind of crazy uh things are a little unproportioned um is this wall done i think it is okay all right cool this side's looking good let's get uh let's get some more stuff going shall we All right, we got to work our way up to the top of the house. Um, this is super sketchy too, just so you know. Ladder on top of a ladder. Mm. Yeah, no thanks. Not going to do that ever in my life. No, mm -mm. no sir, won't do it. Oh, we are so close. Oh, maybe this chimney will give us enough money to get our uh, our extension, even though like we're on the roof. So I don't even think the extension is going to be useful. Hey, okay, hold on, let's grab it. I don't really think it's going to be useful for us right now, but that's okay. Uh, Buy that. Okay, so. Oh, look at that. We got another set of hands. Ooh. I like this. Like, because before, that wouldn't even remotely touch any of that. Now it's like actually kind of working, sort of. Holy moly. Winner, winner. It's all right. It's not. Yeah, it's all right. No, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> I gotta say, I like the extension. You know, it's actually kind of funny. Because I don't think I've ever used a pressure washer that didn't have the extension pole on it. Like, ever. I don't think I've ever used one of those little tiny handheld ones. You know, I gotta say this house has gotta be out about done. Oh, this railing. Wow, I missed this railing. Wait, did I not ever do, come back and do these railings? Might not have. Okay, so that looks good. This looks good. Hold on, what are we missing? Um, oh, we're about, no, my ladder. Uh, I got it. <laughs> I got it. Uh, okay. Whoa, hello. All right, we'll get this now. The, the fast, fascia, fast, fascia, fascia, shika. I don't even know. <laughs> uh, is the chimney done? Chimney's done. This this fascia fascia is not done either. Oh no! Stop falling off. Okay, don't move. 
All right, where the heck is the rest of the stuff at? Where is this dirty fiacious stuff at? You know? It's moving faster. That's good. I was gonna say, I was like, I have one of these little vortex things in real life and they move at like, like Mach 76. They're like super fast. This thing is like, eh, it's all right. It's all right. The chimney top is dirty. Are you kidding me? Can I, can I get onto the chimney top from here? Oh yes, I can. Check this out. Parkour! Aha! Uh -huh. And this one? Eh, parkour! <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Oh, oh, little, little soot in the chimney top there. How in the absolute heck am I supposed to get this? This isn't precarious and hey, there we go. Okay. All right. What are we missing? The fascia and wooden trims. Okay. Where's the fascia? Where's the dirty fascia at? Are you a dirty wooden trim? Oh. <gasps> oh. Hey, fascia is good. Okay. So now, dirty wooden trim. We have uh, two of them. Wooden trim. That one's good. Is this one good? That one's good. All right, let's just jump around the roof. Make sure everything's good up here. Okay, looks good. All right, how's this wooden trim? Wooden trim, dirty. Oh, jeez. There we go. Oh, perfect. I bet you it's the other side too. You want to bet? Want to bet it's this one? Wooden trim. Oh, it's not. I was wrong. Wooden trim. Uh, wooden trim? Wooden trim. Wooden trim. Wooden trim. Wooden trim. Wood trim? Wood trim. No? <laughs> hey! Here it is! <gasps> We've done it! Talk, we found a mucky old thing in our garage. Let's know if you come over and give it a wash. Absolutely! Oh, there we go. Look at that. And then we came, we left for like a month. And then we came back and finished cleaning it. <laughs> oh, it looks so beautiful. It's so good. All right, continue. Okay, so what do we got? Ooh, look at that. Oh, I don't really want to touch the skate park. This, though. Oh, my gosh. This car looks beautiful. Let's go check this guy out. I bet you it's going to be a quick one, too. Especially with our super amazing pressure washer that we have now. Ooh, it's going to be good. <gasps> Wash me. Oh, I love it. Oh, look at that. It's got some little... little kitty cat tracks on there that's awful that's why they're just the worst they just walk on your stuff do a little bit of an inspection here first rust free just dirty can you even believe it i can't even believe it oh it looks so good it looks so good though <gasps> all right let's wash it uh let's see if we stand back how quickly can we do this like how quick, how quick is this happening? Let's go like this. Jenny's doing, going to live stream the car restoration for the vlog. Don't worry. You won't even know she's there. Okay. We're going to get this thing cleaned up in no time. Oh, oh, it's got rust. Am I supposed to blast the rust off? That's not really kind of how that works, but. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just supposed to blast it off. Wow. Ooh, that rust is tough. I mean, it's magically being blasted off with water. It's like bonding it, filling it, sanding it, and repainting all in one. No wonder they're paying me the big bucks. It's like I have a magical pressure washer. All right, I said I was gonna do this fast. Um, it's not gonna be as fast because there's <laughs> quite a bit. You know what? There we go. There we go. We'll hit it with the zero, the rotating zero of death. This would poke holes all if it, if there was rust, it would be it'd just be poking holes everywhere. Oh wow, jeez, Luis, this thing. Okay, on rust, this thing works great. Holy moly! This is a machine.
You know, I kind of wish there was like a whole car detailing one that you could just do just nothing but cars. That's what I want to do. Do we get that one? <laughs> do we get this one? There must be some stuff on this side of it. Canopy hinge. There we go. Look at that. All right, you know what? Let's throw the uh, let's throw this guy back on and just get all the the dust washed off of it real fast. And I'll go back with the um, I'm scrolling through the Esther archives online. OK. All right, so most of the dust is blown off of it. Uh, pretty nice looking car. Pretty nice looking car. But we have to use our super amazing spinny McSpinnier deal and remove all of this rust. It's actually kind of satisfying to do this part too, like this little rust bits. It's like, oh. It is, the hinge isn't clean enough. Become clean hinge, thank you. You know, I gotta say, with the what's really nice about this like spinning bit, I, you know, it's it's growing on me, but it's growing on me specifically for this job, because like these little pieces, if you kind of just leave it and let it sit, it just cleans everything you need it to clean. Like it does a very good job. Pretty sure there's yeah a bunch of rust right here. You know, it says this shelf has a bunch of stuff on it. Oh, right there. I was like, I can't see anything. I try not to use the tab if I don't have to, but you know what? We're just, I'm just not good enough. <laughs> Look at all of that rust. Now, if you came in here with a pressure washer with with a, a pressure washer with a zero degree thing on it, and you pushed it, that would blow a hole right through that. <laughs> oh, but I love it. I love it. It's just so satisfying to clean it and get it all. Oh, so nice. All right, this girl right here, this is gonna be fun. Oh, look at that. Look at how nice and clean that got. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, look at the difference. It just looks so good. I was kind of hoping to be a little bit more chrome. It's really not kind of a kind of a bummer. I thought it'd be more like the horns, like these horns, and this bumper, like. Well, the bumper actually. Oh yeah, looks pretty good. But like these horns, like if you clean them up, oh, they shine like the Dickens. All right, this thing is 99% complete. Where's, let's see, okay, this top part isn't done. Hey, okay, now the top part is done. Mudguard. 
All right, likely culprit for mud. Probably right here somewhere. I lied. Where's mud guard? What? There's like nothing on the mud guard. Where? Okay, the tires. We're not talking about tires. We're talking about the mud guard. But where's the mud? I also don't know how to get this tire clean either. Cause I don't, I don't, I can't like, I can't see any more spots on it. Also this mud guard, where's the, where? Where is the mud on this tire? Can somebody, okay, like here, obviously, here's this one. Like obviously there's some mud on this mud guard. But where's, how do I get in there? Uh, you know what? Let me take this, uh, let me take this thing off here. Let's see if we can get anything, anything in here. Hmm. Star looks completely clean to me. See, like all the other tires we got clean except for the back two. Like, I, I just can't see. I can't see where it's dirty. Where are you dirty at? If I can't see it, oh, 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 oh. Hey! It's the same on this one. Where are you? Where are you? I don't see anything anywhere on the inside or something up here this tire It's right there. Hey! Oh my gosh, that was a pain. All right, so what are we missing here? A lot of things. Bumpers? This must be the bumper right here. Yeah. We are missing some stuff in there. Bet you it's like right down in there. Come on, let's. Pew, 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 pew! Yeah! Hubcap. This one's dirty still. Now it's not. Headlights and horns. We're going back to this guy. Where are you dirty at headlights? You dirty devils, you. Was that the horn? That was a horn, right? Headlight, this one. Oh, I see you. Hey, job complete. We've done it. My gosh. That right there is a beautiful car. All right, let's see. Let's see how we did it. Oh, we did a most excellent job. And then we removed the rust with our magic pressure washer. Oh, so good. Well, that is a beautiful job. Well done. Can we get in and go beep beep and drive this? This will become the new work vehicle. We got enough room. And we've got the back door right there. We've got the trunk for, you know, hoses and whatnot. We've got all kinds of room. Who needs a van? When we could use that. I mean, it'd be so much more stylish too. Oh, wait a second. This is the house we cleaned. Oh, so they brought it out of the garage. Oh, very cool. Very cool. But that's going to end it. And thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did like subscribe, all the fun things. We're at $425 again. And I guess like, I feel like the last thing for us to purchase right now is actually the last soap deal thing, right? The like, 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 like the last soaper. Because we don't have professional duty. 
Uh, so like the soper is the last one and I want to see how much better it is too. You, know, like, you know what I'm saying? I want to see how much more how much more suds Do we get out of it? It's got to be good. It's got to be good. But yes, thank you so much for coming out Hopefully you enjoyed this is power wash sim. I have a link down below as well But I'll see you in the next one Bye everybody